It should never come off. But for safety reasons, yeah, it's gotta have it. <laughs> yes. yes. I'd actually really appreciate it if we can get another one of these made. Freeze. <laughs> What? Morning! It is now a brand new day. And, okay, so I don't know if he's streaming or not. I don't know what the problem is. Anyway, uh, good, good afternoon. Welcome to yet another vlog. There's been an update on Blackout, which is super, super exciting for me, simply and utterly because of the fact that I want to be able to play some Blackout. Look, don't get me wrong, Apex, awesome. Love, love the game Apex. I can play Apex on the PC, I can play Apex on the controller. It don't matter to me, but uh, right now there's a whole bunch of like new characters and new, uh, new maps, new drops. In, uh, in, in Blackout, so I'm kind of excited. I actually texted uh, both Hutch and Diesel to see if they're gonna wanna play. Um, the, ish, the issue the, the issue that the old Net of Optic haven't had as, a, as successful of a run as we have had in the past where we're streaming together is simply and utterly because of the fact that I go to bed super early and they go to bed super early in the morning. Um, Obviously, them being two hours away, my four, my, their four o'clock is my six o'clock. Their eight o'clock is my eight o'clock is their six o'clock. I mean, you can you can go and figure that out yourself. But that's uh, that's one of the main reasons why we haven't been able to play together. Um, let me check, make sure that all this is done. Okay, here we go. It's gonna be awesome. Is that a full kill? Every single time I go there. I come back and the vlog goes fucking wild. I remember when I used to vlog, I mean, uh, stream. Figuring some, uh, some, figuring some stuff off. Hex, vlog, 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 vlog. Figuring some stuff off with the, with the vlog. Anyway, okay, so this uh, piece of, this artifact, this piece of history, this piece of, of meaningfulness, oh, this is a, uh, what you called what you call a memento, okay? An artifact that belonged at the, at the old uh, scuff house. It was in the middle of the living room. It, it, it's from Ikea, it's shelving at the top. Judith put the sticker on top of it. It's not custom made, it's literally just a vinyl sticker on top of it. But it was present through some of the best moments and some of the not so best moments of, uh, of the Optic Scuff House. So I've been trying to figure out a place to put this in. All right, so not too close, not too good. Back up, Matt. All right, so originally what they wanted to do was to put it, or they, is the, the suggest, the suggest, the suggestions from the people in here. They wanted to do it here because it's got a black, uh, it's got a, a black background, it does, but it's a little bit too snug. So what I want to do is I want to put it up here, right? Now the problem is that since it's in the, in the back of the Y, it's got a white background, it's not gonna look that good. So what I'm gonna do, as you'll see right now, is, well, first of all, um, it's like right about there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some spray paint, and then I'm just gonna watch, watch. Ooh. Here we go. It's gonna be good. Promise. This is gray. This is all water-based Montana paint. I bought this paint from my friend uh, Omens, who's supposed to come over here and paint the, the long wall. Um, but obviously he hasn't. And now I have to find the fucking black. Carbon black. And what I wanna do is I wanna make it I wanna I don't wanna do like a solid black. It's gonna be like a spray paint in like a like a spray in the back. No design, just like a in the back to make it look super dope. And guess what? If it doesn't work, then we'll just paint over it. Yeah, see? Nice. Now, what I'm gonna do this. Oh, 
up here. Ah, well, it's gonna be hanging in front of the boom. Just like that. Now, I'm obviously not gonna be the one to screw it in because it's metal, but somebody will. Oh man, I don't know when the last time it was that I was, I mean, he passed out there and I was like playing uh, Blackout first and I wanted to continue to play it, but Seth couldn't continue to play. This is what I don't get. And I'm not, I'm not being overly critical here, but if, if, if I'm Call of Duty and one of my players plays uh, professionally and you don't want him to stream against you, wouldn't you want him to stay on your game? Because the rule as it stands right now, and I know why it's there, it's so, it's so the, I just, this is my thing. If Scumpy, you, if, if I'm Activision, I want to keep Scumpy on Call of Duty. The fact that he's playing another game is like bad for, it's bad for business. It's bad for Call of Duty. So what happens is that if the CWL is streaming, no other Call of Duty pro can stream Call of Duty according to the rules. I think it's backwards, but you know what? We abide by the rules, man, you know? It's, it's, it's what we do. All right, I just, uh, I just finished uh, my, my, I, I streamed a little bit. Uh, Hitch has been here all day. Is he, you okay, man? Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, all right. So through the uh, through the magic, right? You guys see everything that's going on right now. Everything is is, is nighttime, right? Seth is there. Seth is there. Good night. Ah, it is currently. Sorry, darling. 11 a.m. And this guy's up. To what do we owe the pleasure, young scumper jumper? Shut up, Lulu, you annoying. Gosh, shut up. I'm making some lifestyle, lifestyle changes, man. Don't look at Ooh, my fire. Huh? What's up, where are you going? Office. To do what? Stream. All right, let's go, man. Let's go get some food first, though, yeah? Look at this guy, man. Yo, how do you like the shirt that I'm wearing? I love the shirt. Look at this guy, though, man. You like him? Yeah, man. Let me have him. No. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. You can literally take him to your house. Okay. <laughs> Shut up, Lulu. We'll saw you down. For what? Let's food? go get some food and then uh, take Louie to your house. Actually, food, though? Yeah, I'll give them to you. You think we can eat in less than 45 minutes? I want to be live by 12. Let's go. And magic. It is the morning time, and guess who's still working? Guess who's oh, still wait, out here I'm grinding? It is literally, Seth, you've been here for the last 24 hours. I'm telling the, 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 the vlog how incredible it is that your grind has, has come up to something completely different. You've grown up as a young man. I haven't been up for 24 hours. Okay, but I turned it off and you were here and then I turned it back on and you were here. And it was nighttime. I went to bed at 12.30, I woke up at 7.30. I've been, I got seven hours of sleep. Are you 40 years old? I'm 23 and you know what, I'm about my shit. You're about that money? Yeah, you know me, man. Look at me, man. Oh, dude. You look like a picture every time I see you. You know why? Because like a picture, every time you look at it, you're wearing the same thing as always. I don't have all my clothes. What do you want me to do? Seth, I'm about to go get the boat. We're fishing soon. Ellen, we're going to go get the boat right now. Ellen. Well, I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous because I've always wanted a boat my whole life. Or since I started fishing. And now that I'm like exactly an hour away from getting it, shivers. Welcome to the Velociraptor. I'm brand new to this thing. All right, so we just pulled up to Fun and Sun Boat Sales. Um, which is where they have okay I gotta stop you I don't know how to We've stop close thank you uh, uh, anyway so I was recommended to this place by you, you got if you guys watch fishing videos you probably have seen this very same spot in the last like week non-stop because it's all like uh, John B just made a video here um, Rob just made a video here and I, I came to buy here because of them you know I, did, I didn't get to be honest I didn't get a I didn't get a deal, and I think I should have. Um, but they treated me well. Okay, so we're good. Uh, let's go in there. Let's take a little bit of a gander in there. So we're gonna give you a tour of the place, and then we're gonna give you a tour of the boat.
signed all the papers. And there was really nothing to sign, so I just pretty much bought it outright. But before we leave, we gotta buy some some apparel. And I know that you, you're gonna say, well, why don't you just give the apparel for free? But that's not what you do. When a friend of yours starts a business, you wanna support that business, and you support it by not asking for free shit. Okay? You actually buy it and support. Oh, how cool is this, man? You know why I like this? Because it's black and green. Uh, they sort of got their own like green wall going on. This is literally a green wall. ever lose the boat going down the road yeah this will lock the brakes up on the trailer yeah and keep it from continuing to run down the road wiping everything out so you'll just hook that on right there okay why would i there's no no way that i would you lose. should never have that happen okay i agree it should never come off but for safety reasons yeah it's gotta have it <laughs> yes all right so there's a ton a ton, a ton to unpack there. Man, does it feel good to finally have a boat? It, it is a literal life goal of mine. Ever since I was 16 years old, I always wanted a John boat. And then from the John boat, I wanted a Ranger. Um, and then uh, I believe a Phoenix. And then uh, the, when I learned about the Skeeters, I was super into the Skeeters, the most Skeeters. And the boat that I ended up getting is a Skeeter FX21 Apex. So it's a, it's a very, very nice boat. Um, and I couldn't be happier about the purchase. You know, I spent a year here in Texas and because of uh, the amount of work in launching the Hex Quarters and the businesses within the Hex Quarters that are gonna be um, hopefully announced soon. And probably not, it'll, it'll take a couple of months. It's okay, it doesn't matter, it's all good. Um, I, I finally, finally have some time to where everything's on the right trajectory. Everything, uh, everything's getting juicier, if, if, if I do say so myself. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, it was one of those things that for me, it was always, I always told Judith, if I can, if, if my life will be complete if I can have a, a nice house, a truck and a boat. I still have, I still have the, uh, the, the G wagon. As of right now, I don't know the fate of it. I don't know what is gonna end up. More than likely to keep, I love, I love it way too much. I love it way too much, unless I trade it in for a sports car or something super cool. Uh, but as of right now, I think, uh, I think that's it. So now the plan is to get out on the water as soon as possible. I'm gonna have to wait for either Rob or hopefully uh, one of the Guggen guys to, to take me out on the water to show me the, the ins and out of the boat. Because although I have driven boats before and I've taken them, I'm, I'm talking about driven, driven, driven boats, okay? But this one's mine. I wanna make sure that, that um, and Rob has the same one, so I want to make sure that you know everything is done correctly and the right way. Um, anyway, there's uh, there's a lot going on, so you know uh, the vlogs will continue to be a little bit more sporadic um, due to a cancellation. I wasn't able to release the eavesdrop this week, which sucks because I needed to. I wanted to. I can't. Yeah, I, I cannot function mentally. I couldn't even enjoy, like two. Let's just say the last two days have been super stressful, and I mean Monday and Tuesday. Cause today's Wednesday. Have been super stressful, and I didn't even get a chance to enjoy the fact that I had a that I have purchased a boat because this one thing that is the, the eavesdrop has kind of been looming over my head that I haven't completed it. And for me, that's like priority number one. So uh, it is what it is. Anyway, uh, this vlog has gone on long enough. So I'm gonna leave you right here, right now. Thank you for tuning in. If you guys enjoy the video, please do not leave without leaving like having said that, boys and girls. And with that said, I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow as usual. Hopefully as, hopefully, hopefully as usual and as per usual. I, I feel bad. I, I now feel bad doing the, uh, the outro like that without, Without the, the, the song, without the RJD2, um, you know, Ghostwriter outro. It feels, feels kind of whack, but it is what it is. Anyway, so hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow at some time sometime.